Good morning, it is 9.15, about to get going here. So first thing this morning is the Kennebec River Crossing. Um, and then I gotta get over to Caratonk to resupply. And I'm not really sure how much further I'll go after that. It kinda just depends how long that takes. And um, yeah, with the, the Kennebec River Crossing, so it's like a guy with a canoe takes you across. So that'll be pretty cool, it'll be fun. And I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be an awesome day. Alright, well I made it across successfully, now it is Tucker and Caroline's turn. All right, I'm back out here on trail. It is 10 a.m. I had a very nice near road day at the Sterling Inn. It was very relaxing. They had an awesome resupply there. And the owner was super nice, super hiker friendly. Definitely enjoyable. It was a nice rest day, definitely needed it. And um, yeah, slept in a little bit later than I would have liked to today. So I am behind um, Tucker and Caroline. I'm sure they're well ahead at this point. I am not really sure how many miles I'm gonna end up doing today. I originally wanted to do a big day like 20 miles, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I think it would require a headlamp uh, and hiking into the night because um, Mark and Cam are actually uh, up in Munson at Shaw's Hiker Hostel. So they summoned it a few days ago and now they wanted to come back to see us before they fly back to England and Australia. So 
I'd really like to get there to see them. I think it would be a really awesome little Tramley reunion. So I'm gonna try to keep the pace up and uh, hopefully get the months in the to see these guys. It is a little bit after 5 p.m. I am 16.4 miles in for the day. <clears throat> I'm almost to the top of Moxie Bald Mountain, which is the last climb uh, between here and um, Monson. So the terrain's not too difficult. I'd like to try to do like 10 more miles, which that's gonna involve night hiking because um, it's still about 20 miles to Monson from where I'm at here. So I'd like to shorten that distance a little bit more so that I have more of a Nero tomorrow. But um, yeah, I'm basically just gonna keep pushing and hike a little bit into the night and kind of just stealth camp when I don't feel like hiking anymore. All right, it's seven o'clock, um, 21 miles in for the day. It's starting to get pretty dark, so it'll be time to break out the headlamp pretty soon. Um, also wanna stop for dinner pretty soon, but feeling pretty good. Definitely tired, but I feel like I can keep pushing a few more miles. And um, yeah, I wanna stop for dinner soon and we'll see how much more I feel like hiking after this. All right, it is approaching eight o'clock here, just ate dinner and I'm about to hit the trail again. Uh, I'm gonna do a few more miles and um, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how much more, but yeah, finished up dinner here and there's a nice almost full moon. So hopefully that'll help me out a little bit. Uh, the forest is pretty dense. 
So I don't know how much moonlight is actually gonna make it through the trees. But um, yeah, probably about 22 miles in or so. So pretty much whenever I feel like stopping, I'm just gonna find a stealth spot <clears throat> to spend the night and uh, hopefully be able to shorten that Nero up for tomorrow. Approaching nine o'clock here. Um, probably go a few more miles. Probably try to get till around like ten o'clock. Um, soaking my feet right now, filling up some water, and um, yeah, feet are a little sore, but I feel pretty good now that I'm soaking them in this cold water. So just a few more miles, and then I'll call tonight. All right, it is nine o'clock in the morning. Just getting going here. Uh, slept pretty good last night. Definitely was tired. Uh, so I have a, just a short 10 mile day today. Terrain looks easy. So it should hopefully not take me too long. Maybe four or five hours tops. That'll give me time to hang out with Mark and Cam, which I'm look forward to seeing them and uh, I'd imagine Tucker and Caroline are probably behind me because I ended up doing just over 26 miles yesterday so I don't know if they pushed that much or not I think they were originally going to do like 23 but um, yeah feeling pretty good and uh, ready to get the day started here It is 11.30 and I got about four miles to go. All right, we have made it to the 100 mile wilderness. Definitely feels really cool to have made it here. It's a huge milestone. It was a really great Nero day at Shaw's yesterday. It was awesome to see 
Mark and Cam before they fly home. Uh, so plan for today is to do like 15 miles. Uh, we're just gonna take our time, enjoy all the scenery, and uh, really just take it all in. So it's a beautiful day out here, and uh, just really pumped to be in the 100 mile wilderness. All right, it is 12.45 in the afternoon. Got about seven miles left for the day. And the 100 mile wilderness does not disappoint. It's a cool waterfall, pretty nice views. And the fall colors are really starting to come in. And it's actually pretty hot today. It's probably about 80 degrees and the sun is pretty strong in some of the exposed areas. Uh, terrain it's not super difficult so it's pretty relaxing uh, hiking and I'm uh, just really enjoying it and having a good time <laughs> 